uh, very warm welcome to you all here. Uh, and it's a pleasure to meet you all in our collective calls that we hold every Thursday. So that's how we usually connect brilliant minds, ideas, and uh, have awesome speakers for these calls. And they present the pitch decks and answer questions. So uh, as usual, hosting today's meeting, myself, Ivan, and uh, Malika is also a co-host of this meeting. And yeah, let's waste no time. And uh, I will announce three projects uh, that will be presenting their pitch decks, answer questions, and so on and so forth. So we've got uh, Mia Bao, uh, Asian marketing expert and DAO-based co-founder. Then we got uh, Valeri and Stan, I believe, co-founder, uh, co-founders at uh, WalesCalls.club, and uh, Michael, a co-founder at Colobog Project. And uh, let me remind you guys real quick about our uh, rules and how we usually do that. So we allocate like five minutes for the pitch part and 10 minutes, um, maybe some more for the questions part. So for your convenience, we'll add a timer in the corner somewhere. So just please be mindful of that and uh, yeah, respect each other. Uh, of course, uh, if you have any speak uh, any questions for the speakers, uh, just feel free to raise your hand. Otherwise, just put your questions in the chat box below. That'll be convenient as well. And yeah, make sure you um, your video and screen sharing are, are working correctly. So please check always check that. Okay, uh, I am Valeri uh, from Aldi. Uh, you say that I am from Wales Calls. Uh, Wales Calls is our calls chat for influencers, uh, but Aldi is our another project. And uh, Stanislav is not with me today. I gonna tell about Aldi alone. Uh, so on start screen uh, we have a beautiful uh, old Durov. Uh, so our project is a new narrative like uh, dogs, cats. Uh, we will do a drop for your age in messengers, for your age in uh, Telegram, uh, for Twitter and uh, ton transactions. Also, in future, we will drop uh, our tokens to ecosystem holders in ton. So let's go to our app. When you enter app, you see uh, how many years are you in Telegram. Uh, additional tokens uh, you can get for Telegram Premium. On the main screen, uh, you can see uh, tasks uh, that you can complete to get additional tokens and our partner tasks. You can get, as I said, uh, tokens for Telegram, Ton transactions, you can connect wallet and uh, for your... Also we have leaderboard. Uh, in the top of leaderboard there are some sys calls because we have good connections with them and you have uh, two leveled referral system uh, you can get 10% uh, points from your first level referrals and 5% uh, from second level referrals so i think we can get to questions yeah what is your business model how do you monetize the, the project uh, the main thing in uh, telegram mini apps is to sell traffic but we will uh, get to this point uh, only when we get uh, 100k uh, daily active users. Now we have uh, 50k and total users in our bot is about 1 million. Uh, also we have a task when you uh, connect a wallet on wallet uh, we have task to do a transaction for 0.1 uh, also, in about two weeks, we plan to la launch NFT collections. An NFT collection uh, cost of one NFT would be one ton, but uh, supply uh, is not collect. Uh, these NFTs are burned. You can burn uh, on website and uh, get tokens for this. Uh, uh, NFTs will get. Uh, rarity and uh, uh, amount of tokens will depend on rarity uh, also in plans uh, we have pre-sale in telegram stars pre-sale of our tokens that's all i think 
uh, how do you monetize the project? So uh, what sorts of, of income do you have? And uh, tell us a bit more about the monetization. Uh, now we have only one point uh, of all that I said. We have only task to deposit, to make a transaction of uh, 0.1.1 ton. Uh, all that I said now we want to add in future okay so yeah thanks for clarifying and uh, tell us a bit more about your future plans so uh like oh, oh, what's uh, what's it about the roadmap and what are your next steps our main next step is to list on pre-market on bitget we have uh, good connections with BitGet team and they said us uh, what we need to do more in our pro project to list there and uh, we need to increase views in Twitter and they said they, that they can list us in pre-market. As we see in dogs and cats projects uh, after they list on pre-market it gives them very, very, very big boost. And we want to do the same thing. Also, in two or three days, uh, we want to add daily task, but I can't say about it anything because mechanics are don't ready yet. All right, thanks for that. Uh, um, yeah, guys, uh, feel free to address more questions. Um, yeah, so, I'll start raise hand I, from Nicholas. I have one, uh, not sure how to raise hand because I'm joined from, I joined from mobile. So uh, this is Sachin. I just want to understand one thing. So um, your project is uh, more about, uh, uh, you know, the onboarding the uh, different partners and the new projects to make uh, revenue. I don't understand. What do you say? Uh, our so, main, yeah. our main. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Onboard new uh, partners and projects. Basically, the if there is some project which is coming into the Web three or any other space, having the tokenizations. So you have multiple users out there. I just want to understand that you onboard them and do the quest questions and uh, the game or whatever activities you do. So it is for the new project and charge from them, right? Uh, for other projects, we now have uh, only exchange traffic. Uh, okay. Just we add task, they add task and exchange traffic. Mm -hmm. Or we gonna sell traffic but uh, as i said we gonna do that only after first only uh after we gain 100k daily active users we don't no. want to sell traffic got now it. because got it, got it. so uh, the another thing that you your project and tokenomics is on the tone network right now right yes on tone okay so what is the possibility to shift it to any other blockchain uh, which is there in the market i think uh, tone is mostly blockchain for telegram apps i don't think it's possible to move to other chain it's not possible to move to other chain yes okay thank you so basically you're making your revenue from um people paying you for additional traffic so you use a task or so you add a task and then the flow of your users goes over to a new project what what other um in the future what other things are you going to do are you going to do gaming or what other utilities will you be introducing uh, what utilities uh, would we have in future i understand yeah, like right? economics ah, okay uh after cge i don't know how to in english in russian it's take a year <laughs> Uh, we will have utility, but it's uh, in developing now. I can't share details, but it would be. Um, will it be in game or? Uh, no, not a game. Something more. Something for all users, not only for gamers. So yeah, let's conclude with that. Uh, thanks again uh, for putting out. Um, and uh, yeah, wish you best of luck actually and yes yeah, let's move on for the second project uh, thank because, you uh we got a pretty tight schedule so so um um this is mia from dalbase.ai and uh, dalbase dalbase is an ai driven DAO aggregator and uh, data infrastructure that designed for nesting DAOs. so we basically uh, the platform help on um, the DAOs and also the government web3 governance users 
to establish their own on-chain replication system uh, on the platform. And uh, we started the platform in the late of 2021. Uh, right now, we have covered over 130,000 uh, DAOs, 6 million of voters' data. Um, and also, like uh, we interpreted seven blockchains so far on the uh, within the platform. Um, if we look at the platform right now and also the data right now, uh, Dalbins is the most comprehensive DAO aggregator and the largest DAO database in the market so far. Um, and besides that, we also trusted by many well-known DAOs since uh, we launched our beta version in the late of two, in the early of two thousand twenty-three. So the platform right now has been trusted by. Uh, some of the DAOs, including Maker DAO, Apecoin DAO, um, Big DAO, uh, Bankless DAO, uh, Mainbase DAO, the Sandbox DAO, uh, Decentralized DAO, and many more. Um, so basically, uh, let me give you guys a little bit uh, understanding about the platform, how the, this platform looks like. So this is the homepage of DAOBase.ai. It's uh, all everything about DAO data over here. Um, and let me dive into a specific DAO page for everybody. So this is the DAO page for the Sandbox DAO. And as you can see here, we cover the overview, including the treasury, comprehensive data, uh, the governance token, and also there will be like Twitter feed. I think it's because of VPN. So it's a little bit lagging over here and a governance data over here. Um, and so basically we have more specific uh, niche dimensions about the DAO, including the treasury uh, uh, section, uh, and that will be included all of the uh, treasury addresses combined together over here, um, and also uh, the list of all, the, of all of the assets was in this kind of uh, treasury addresses. Um, and also the governance section. So basically, we integrated over at least 40 uh, governance framework in the space uh, across seven blockchains, including Overzapling, Aragon, uh, Snapshot, and many more. So if um, every DAO like integrated or submitted their own governance framework, all of the data will just automatically put over here like this. And also this kind of member section um, over here. So not only every DAO have their own like um, uh, comprehensive data aggregation on the platform, but also every Web3 governance builders will have their own uh, governance page and the DAO page over here as well, like this by covering uh, the DAOs they related with, uh, the votes, the proposals, delegations, and the voting power combined together over here. Yeah, this is a basic uh, intro about the platform. Um, and uh, right now, right now, we not only covering all of the data uh, for 2024, we also like uh, started building our uh, our community. Uh, we launched our flagship pla uh, platform uh, product called Dow Batch X, which is the very first social uh, experiment. Uh, for this uh, six millions of voters, and this is a like dynamic on-chain reputation for all of the users. Um, and as for this dynamic NFT, we generated through this kind of data dimension, including the social graph, the DAO they participate in, the proposals, the voting uh, delegations, and the voting power combined together. And this DAO badge is minted on base blockchain. Uh, we launched it in July and we have hit over 300, uh, 350,000 uh, means on this blockchain so far. And uh, it's, um, uh, if we look at the unique holders, we are the top 10 uh, project uh, in the NFT section on, base, on the whole blast, uh, base blockchain right now. Um, and uh, uh, as I mentioned before, because like we have all of this kind of data, uh, was in the space and uh, we are the largest data database in the market. So we are also adding the AI function to make all of the data more intelligent. Uh, right now we are de developing a, a DAO AI agent to basically help all of the voters to represent themselves, to analyze their like uh, governance behavior. And uh, then we, uh, uh, the, the DAO agent will like present themselves to do the governance state. Uh, governance decision by, for themselves. So that's something uh, we are also expanding and also like trying right now. So this is a platform that we have built uh, like specifically for the DAO space and we are trying to be the ultimate DAO portal for every 
uh, uh, for everybody um, and also provide the dark intelligence for everybody. So that's something we are creating right now. Let me know if uh, you guys have any questions about the platform. Yeah, thanks, Mia. Um, yeah, guys, as we said before, uh, feel free to address questions for the speaker. Okay, while we wait, uh, can you please clarify how you're different from competitors and what's your like main mm, features of the platform that you uh, stand out? Uh, I think um, as for the competitors, um, firstly, we have the uh, the largest DAO database. Um, so com uh, like comparing to other platform, we cover, uh, this is a little bit outdated. So we have covered over 160,000 DAOs, uh, 6 million of voter data on the platform. So basically if uh, you are uh, go to any DAO portal or analytical platform, uh, they won't have those kind of amount of data than us. Um, and besides that, we have the most like uh, data dimensions, uh, including the treasury governance members, social graph and calendar combined together. Uh, so other uh, data platform doesn't have all of this kind of like data dimension like us as well. So that would be two main features uh, that we are excelling uh, other, other platform. And the second one is that when we first go to the uh, go to the market, the platform go to the market. Actually, we are not the kind kind of like OG in the space. There are already some of the OGs like Deep Dow already existing in the space. Um, but um, in the first beginning, we do the in uh, evaluation for the NFTs. So we combine some other NFT as uh, assets into their treasury. Uh, including the NFTs and also RWA. So uh, a lot of doubt, they actually feeling, yeah, it's actually making more sense because all of the assets have value and for other platform, they only track DeFi assets. So uh, we onboarded some of the NFT centric DAOs on the platform, including a, a, a point DAO, uh, Minbit's DAO, and many more. Um, and after we onboarded all of these kind of well-known DAOs in, on the platform, uh, we're starting to pulling all of the DeFi DAOs on the platform. And, and that's why we have all of the uh, like partners and especially like this amount of partners, uh, which which is way bigger than other platforms. Um, and yeah, I would say that's the two major uh, like differences uh, that help us stand out in the market. OK, got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More questions. So, uh, Mia, uh, one question from my side. Um, so, how you are supporting the RWAs, basically? Uh, so, as for the RWA, we do the evaluation of the assets. So, we will combine those kind of assets into their treasury. Um, and it, um, yeah, it will basically, if you guys have access of those kind of assets, uh, it will show up under uh, the treasury portfolio. <clears throat> okay. And for other platform. Yeah, as for other platform, they only track the by assets. Okay, so my question is, there are two kind of assets, basically uh, tangible and uh, intangible assets. So how do you make the differentiation between these two? Tangible assets and uh, in, uh, intangible yeah, tangi assets, right? Yeah, yeah, intangible assets. So tangible, let me explain it to you so that you can understand better. Tangible assets like mm -hmm. uh, any building uh, or a commercial project uh, where the buildings are getting built, land. These are the tangible assets which you can see physically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Intangible assets are uh, IPs, uh, research papers, uh, and uh, there are so many other things basically which are not available physically but uh, uh, digitally available and they create value as well. So if uh, mm -hmm. your product has to make a differentiation between these two, how mm -hmm. and and what kind of uh, you know the 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 DAO community you have. In that direction uh actually we do the evaluation uh based on the historical transactions for example like uh, for uh, for the tangible assets we actually to do check uh this that type of the average uh, for example the real estates right um so we check uh the average like um pricing and um of the assets um and uh, pull all of the like uh, prices together and do uh, mm -hmm. like we will have a like basically two version one is based on the historical and another one will be based on the median price so um so people will have a like basic uh, understanding about the assets the price of the assets okay so last question from my side say look at this intangible asset has a limited value over a period of time say like property or real estate can grow 
up to certain extent after that it will become stable uh, the growth is like very minimized but intangible asset they grow uh, maybe the growth can be slow but they grow multifold so it intangible asset in balance sheet is multiply according to the revenue growth of that organization both of the things are the part of the balance sheet at all end of the day mm-hmm. <laughs> intangible dis- asset do not have any historical data it will be a comparative data basically uh, because that is something which comes from the innovation so mm-hmm. how you are going to take care of that mm-hmm. um as for intangible like assets we also do like similar uh evaluation like on nfts some of them they don't uh, they they launch with their ip but they don't have this kind of prices or historical prices yeah Uh, we want to do compare uh, comparison uh, with other like similar IPs come back together, um, and also historical data. Um, so uh, like uh, not like uh, industrial historical data. So we will do this kind of like a a prediction, but it it will be like a the just data after they actually have the prices or something like that. So that's. How we do the pricing and evaluation right now? All right, uh, guys, feel free to address more questions. Yeah, maybe you, Malika, have any of those? Not really. Okay, so uh, really, no. tell us a bit more about the future goals, plans of the platform. How do you plan to attract audience and you know sustain them? Uh, actually, we have uh, uh, so we have a point system, and right now we have over six hundred thousand uh, players within the platform, and uh, half of them have all minted their DAO badge on on chain. So yeah, I would say because like we have a marketing background before, so we are pretty smooth with the marketing side. And also like acquiring all of the users from the platform. And about the future goals, maybe for this year, next year, you know, in terms of the roadmap, what are the future uh, steps of Dalbase? Uh, for Dal- for Dalbase, we are uh, we are hoping us to be the uh, ultimate Dal portal uh, for all of the Dal believers and lovers. Um, and uh, for this year, I would say we are planning to. Release our OG NFT collection um, and also our uh, token uh, in the later half of this year, and also uh, or it will be like launched on Q1 next year. So that's something the top priority for us right now. Um, and after that will be the monetization of the platform, and that will be our next priority. Okay, got it. Thanks for clarifying that. Thanks uh, for tuning, for staying here, Mia. And yeah, wish you best of luck as well. Uh, let's move in. And uh, our final speaker for today is going to be Michael. Yeah, co-founder at Followbox, I believe. So yeah, whenever you're ready, you can start. Let me just pause the timer first. So at first, I would like to introduce myself. So I'm the co-founder of Followbox project, which is um, just play to earn an airdrop game. Um, In Telegram, so basically, um, we are working not only in a way to just um, make airdrop for every players, but uh, we want also help animals and make some donations from our game, uh, just to help the world. And yeah, so it's our main goal, just to help everyone um, through our game. So as you can see here, it's a little game description. So what you can do in our game? So first you can collect uh, our CB uh, CB points, uh, which every four hours um, you can just claim them and get out of the game. So also if you want to just um, upgrade and get more coins, you can buy a new character. Um, we have five character which you can see on. Um, You can see it on the right side. So um, most of them, they give you an opportunity to make uh, more coins. Also, we have this additional methods, earning methods, uh, which is um, daily reward, mini game flip coin, which you can try uh, your luck and try to guess um, either it's head or tails. Also, you can invite your friends and also complete uh, partner subs. Uh, next, uh, we have game navigation. So we have five screens, and um, six, uh, six one is reward um, when you just uh, came the first um, time in a day. So it shows only one 
um, in the so first page is main page where you can see um, your main character your debug points your uh, claim button and um, just um, game uh, banner and um, button so next is task page we have a lot of tasks um, it's um, daily task and partners task and also boost page as I said, you can purchase a new character here with different um, description uh, to each one. So it depends uh, which one you bought, you have opportunity to make more um, coins. Also, friend page where you can see all you know, all of your friends which you have invited to our game, and airdrop page where you can uh, just see. Uh, famous uh, questions and answer to them, uh, answers to them, and also you can connect a wallet here. So next we have our economics for our project, which is also is ready. So we're gonna just make airdrop 13 percent, and other will go to uh, Steam. It's seven percent. Basically, we will lock them till. Um, I guess six months probably. So also we would like to make a pre-sale of our token just um, to raise some money for liquidity pool and sex uh, listings. And also we will uh, just um, put some marketing uh, on this money. So as I said, uh, Callbook is not only a game, it's also we have social mission. So we'd like to help animals. And we would like to add a new uh, page, so where you can make donation through um, Telegram with stars. Uh, so we think it will just change the world in some way. And also, 30% uh, of our profit, which goes from tasks and, uh, uh, of course, traffic exchange with some projects, um, also from. Um, just in-game uh, purchases, we will add them soon, I guess, in one week. Um, so after we will um, drop our token, we would like to add 3% commission to this. Um, and we will also donate um, this 3% to uh, animals. The future of the project is um, we would like to make our token is one of the um, main token um, which related to charity. So we would like to just our token will be used everywhere um, when it comes to charity. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank okay, thanks for sticking uh, with the timer. And uh, yeah, it's time for questions in a section. Please, guys, as always, uh, raise your hand or um, text. Uh, us in the chat box below. Yeah, similar question as before. And also, uh, have you actually launched the tap bot? I'm sorry, what did you say? Ha ha is it live? Yeah, it, it's live right now. How many uh, users do you have? Uh, we have uh, 78,000 uh, right now in our game and uh, 25,000 in a, a Telegram channel. Uh, and also we have a huge traffic exchange with some big projects. So we are hoping to see like uh, 100,000 in a week, probably uh, new active users yeah uh so it's a ton it's on ton is it yeah yeah right now it's on ton but uh, probably we will uh, make a bridge to solana but uh, we didn't decide it yet uh will you be attaching a game hmm? will you be attaching any type of gaming uh yeah we would like to add um a, like casino game uh, maybe you know it's crash game where there is um a rocket which goes from zero to um just different numbers uh so we'd like to add it and uh, make it like an additional uh, method to earn our points and also uh, people can uh, purchase an opportunity to play uh, with stars if they want and they want to play with stars also so yeah brilliant thank you okay nicholas thanks for the question what marketing channels are the most useful for you and how you grow your audience and uh, like make it sustainable because so, you know uh, the retention rate is quite crucial here in terms of you know tonic -like system and especially mm -hmm. the, those tapping games so um, i think i recognize you 
build something different. So what about the retention rate? So I users um, eager to, you know, spend your, uh, four hours, uh, on, not, not four hours, but just, you know, wait four hours and, uh, you know, move on and go on. So is this like mm, uh, appealing for users to create such a mm, mm, gaming strategy, so to say? Um, yeah, as you know, uh, people right now, they are lazy. They don't want to just, you know, click or tap or something like that. So we decided to uh, just uh, make a claim every four more hours which is um, easier to them. So we just make a notification for them when they have to claim it. So they will not forget about it. And also we add uh, some indie games. So right now it's Flipcoin. We're just you can try to guess. And sometimes it's really interesting. So we have like uh, 10 uh, active player, 10,000 10, active players in Flipcoin uh, per day. So it's, it's a huge for our um, project. Yeah, so I guess it's better. And, and what kind of feedback do you receive from users? So do you like collaborate with them in terms of, you know, the upgrades, improvements in the app? And do you collect some kind of feedback? Yeah, we have a chat where just everyone can express um, their feelings and their ideas. So, uh, for instance, uh, idea of Clipcoin um, came from some guy in our chat so we decided to take it and um, implement it in our game so sometimes yeah it's useful uh, for us to to collaborate with our audience and what target audience is uh, is in the app so what region maybe or age um, mm -hmm. so what you're looking for so basically it's um i guess it's english uh so 70% of our game is English uh, and, I guess, half Indian people. So, uh, worry about age, uh, it also depends on a lot of things, so we cannot say it, I guess. But right now I cannot say it, sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And maybe the last question for me, uh, tell us a bit more about the team. So, how mm -hmm. many members are in there, what their um, experience and uh, experience in terms of the previous projects and uh, uh, yeah, the, were there any failures? And Yeah, so we have five um, people in our um, team. So basically it's two developers, one design and two of us, it's Oliver and me, uh, we are our founders. So also we collaborate with uh, a lot of uh, projects. So we'll be asking for help sometimes. Um, so, especially with, yeah, so as I said, a lot of collaboration, so a lot of people are helping them, um, uh, help, helping um, uh, our project to get better. So, uh, sometimes uh, we're just asking for them. So, in fact, uh, in two days, we will just make an update um, where we will replace our Revolo system. Uh, with difference so yeah uh, we asked for one project which uh, helped us to make a great code so yeah okay thanks and we've also got a question from the chat box below and uh, user time ask uh, other individuals getting credit for their thoughts for the future if you implement their idea yeah we just uh, <laughs> give that guy um, a custom character and also um, some just SIBO points. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Nice thing. People actually... We also would like to do NFT collection with different rarity for our OGs, not for sale, just for our OGs. And to them, they can uh, in future implement our NFTs in our game so and use them as characters. So probably it will be interesting for them. Yeah, that's kind of nice. We yeah. really often see that in the market, but yeah, not in terms of free ways mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, that's kind of you know, generous, so to say. Yeah, people say interesting projects, so yeah, can I agree with that? Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's all the time we have for today. Uh, it's, it's about time we conclude the today meeting, today's meeting, sorry. Uh, thanks, Michael, uh, for uh, hopping on and uh, sharing with us. With your, um, that was a pleasure hearing you out. And yeah, all the speakers for today, thanks, um, Larry and uh, Mia. 
for being here, for staying over. And uh, yeah, let's see each other next next week. And same time, same date, I guess. And Thanks, uh, yeah. guys. Wish you best of luck. Bye-bye. Have a great week. Soon.